Okay, so uh, looking at a few different cultivation practices in our area. This is our first year with strip tillage on our farm here. We can see some uh, previously no-tilled soybeans uh, strip tilled ahead of corn. Um, I'm really pleased to see that uh, the strip tillage is holding the soil in place a lot like a no-till field would. You can see the berms sticking out of the water, uh, really slowing the flow, and uh, we're not seeing the brown cloudy water coming off the field with the snow melt. Very pleased to see that with the strip tillage. Uh, really looking forward to planting into these strips. Um, this is one of the main reasons for our move to strip tillage is more soil conservation and uh, it's really really exciting to see that plan coming together. Nice clean water. You can see the berms elevated about two inches. See the soil washing in the tilled field. This has been our normal practice for many years, just ripping our soybean stubble. And uh, it's really at only after being educated a bit better that I've started to take notice to the soil loss, on even on our flat soils. Here you can see the uh, snurt, as it's called here in Ontario, snow and, and dirt uh, caused by uh, minor wind erosion. Uh, that's even with tree lines in the background. Nice clean water coming off the strip tilled field with cereal rye. Precision planted cereal rye cover, strip tilled in between corn on corn. Got two rows of rye in between the 30 inch strips. The water's coming off the field nice and clean. No soil loss. Next up, we have a field going into no-till soybeans. You can see the corn was combined, high moisture for our feedlot, and a cereal rye cover crop was drilled. Um, really impressive soil armor, even with the minimal uh, growth on the rye from the cool, wet fall we had. Um, but still, the water's coming off crystal clear, very little soil loss. Uh, really liking this cereal rye system. Uh, here we have the absolute worst case scenario. Uh, continuous soybeans, moldboard plowed in between each crop. Um, massive amounts of soil leaving the field at a very high velocity. Uh, with that soil, uh, a lot of dissolved phosphorus. Um, not a great situation for the environment. Uh, to protect the farmer's identity, I cut out the seam. It's like this every year. By spring, generally, this ditch is right level full. And why it's concerned to me is I also have overland flow coming off this hill. And my water is impeded by his sweat. So here we, uh, on our side, this field will be going into no-till soya beans. Um, no cover crop in this field, just uh, the corn stalks. Corn was only harvested uh, uh, the beginning of January in the snow, so it, uh, no chance for a cover crop to be seeded. Uh, not ideal, but the soil is being held in place. <laughs> 